We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New Orleans Saints. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. 65 yards. And the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, one word for that opening play call, and that is aggressive, but it worked. First play from scrimmage, long touchdown pass. Well, let's be honest about it. In our production meeting last night, we talked about when would the secondary get tested. I did not say they'd get tested on play number one. I knew as the game went along, they would take their shots. That, as you said, a bold strike and very successful right out of the gate. Touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. Heineke going to lead the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's to the sideline and incomplete. No such risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and 10. Heineke now. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he's going to be taken to the ground right there at the 35-yard line. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now a second and 10. To throw is Heineke. This is caught inside the 15. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Middle of the field to Jefferson. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. It's now second and six at the Saints' seven-yard line. Throwing. Heineke to the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Again, it's Heineke. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Van Jefferson. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. On first and 10, it's Algier. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Second and eight coming from the 19. A run for the first time with Bijan Robinson. And just a couple yards there down into 17. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Youngway Koo. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post, and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. The punter pinion now to kick this one away.
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Throwing his car on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this right on field across the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Carr. Fighting Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and a yard. To throw, it's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing on first down is Carr. It gets this complete to Shaheed. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So second and four from the 22. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Now Carr. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And his kick here is good. And that will not us up at 10. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. 
but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. end zone here comes Patterson and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive and after the field goal last time we'll see what they can get here at least they got points out of the last drive Charles I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> most of them wanted to end with a PAT right in this case a field goal they'll take it Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Heineke. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On first and ten, Heineke. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Heineke. to the left sideline and incomplete. I would say it would probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there, hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To the air again, Heineke. And that will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Yeah. 
On first down, Carr. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Let's just call it, as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. Open man left side, Shahid has it. The Saints gonna call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing now is Carr. Quick completion here to Johnson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. From the three, second and a yard. Now a first carry for their fullback. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Car gonna throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jerron Johnson as the first half is winding down. And the Saints have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Groupie able to add the PAT. And that makes it a 17-10 score. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the Falcons gonna get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they wanna play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just burrow his way back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. That has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Heineke caught out left side by Robinson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On third down, Heineke. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. They'll give down here out of the gun. And this will be a Falcons first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Credit the tackle to Tano Passigno. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second and five. And they'll try to throw now. Heineke. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now Heineke. And he is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 21. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. To throw is Heineke. That's thrown underneath to Algier. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Brian Brzee fought in and got him down. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Hadn't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. 
A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Two knocks this one through the post. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The punter Pinion now to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Card out of throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The car's throw caught by Alave. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Kamara up the middle. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. 
And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Heineke going to lead the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Gives it to Algier to start things off. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Here's Heineke. That's down the field for Jefferson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. And this offense on third down today, they've hit it 50%, three and six to this point. This is third and nine. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. Dancing away at the 35. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. But it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second down and nine. Shotgun now for Carr. Open man downfield is Johnson. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40. A first down there on a pick up the 25. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. To throw its car. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. You asked tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Now he's got it. Touchdown! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Saints will add to their fourth quarter lead. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off.
after the touchdown here's groupie to kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So Heineke and the Falcons down by 11. Just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two minute warning. Heineke now looking to throw on first down. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Heineke now on second down. That's caught by Pitts. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Heineke's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. Here's first and 10. Heineke again. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and 10. Throwing. Heineke. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons. Kyle Pitts. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make or break onside kick. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Again, this is Kamara. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game.
Here now, third and a yard. Now Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.